It's the 4th of July! Tuesday, July 4th. Our daily lectionary readings. Complimentary is the angle that we are taking. Psalm 119, 161 through 168 is our psalm reading. 1 Kings 21, 17 through 29 is our Old Testament reading. 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 6 is going to be our New Testament reading, with it being Tuesday, we're still looking back at what happened at church on Sunday, and we are still going to be reading this one out of the message. Psalm 119. I've been slandered unmercifully by the politicians, but my awe at your words keep me stable. I'm ecstatic over what you say, like the one who strikes it rich. I hate lies, can't stand them. But I love what you have revealed. Seven times each day I stop and shout praises for the way you keep everything running. For those who love for what you reveal, everything fits. No stumbling around in the dark for them. I wait expectantly for your salvation. God, I do what you tell me. My soul guards and keeps me all your instructions. Oh, how much I love them. I follow your directions, abide by your counsel. My life is an open book before you. Old Testament reading, 1 Kings 21. Then God stepped in and spoke to Elijah the Tishbite. On your feet, go down and confront Ahab of Samaria, king of Israel. You'll find him in the vineyard of Naboth. He's gone there to claim it as his own. Say this to him, God's word. What is going on here? First murder, then theft. Then tell him, God's verdict. The very spot where the dogs lapped up Naboth's blood, they'll lap up your blood. That's right, your blood. Ahab answered Elijah, my enemy, so you've run me down. Yes, I found you out, said Elijah, and because you've brought this business of evil defying God, I will most certainly bring doom upon you, make mincemeat of your descendants, kill off every sorry male wretch who's even remotely connected with the name of Ahab, and I'll bring down on you the same fate that fell on Jeroboam, son of Nebat and Baasha, son of Allah. You made me that angry by making Israel sin. As for Jezebel, God said, Dogs will fight over the flesh of Jezebel, all over Jezebel. Anyone tainted by Ahab who dies in the city will be eaten by stray dogs. Corpses in this country will be eaten by carrion crows. Ahab, pushed by his wife Jezebel, an open defiance of God, set an all-time record in making big business of evil. He indulged in outrageous obscenities in the world of idols, copying the Amorites whom God had earlier kicked out of Israel territory. When Ahab heard what Elijah had said, he ripped his clothes to shreds, dressed in penitential rough, rough burlap, and fasted. He even slept in corpse burlap pajamas. He tiptoed around, quiet as a mouse. Then God spoke to Elijah the Tishbite. Did you see how penitently submissive Ahab has become to me? Because of his repentance, I'll not bring the doom during his lifetime. Ahab's son, though, will get it. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. My dear friends, don't believe everything that you hear. Carefully weigh and examine what people tell you. Not everyone who talks about God comes from God. There is a lot of lying preachers loose in the world. Here's how you test for the genuine spirit of God. Everyone who confesses openly his faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, 
who came as an actual flesh and blood person, comes from God and belongs to God. And everyone who refuses to confess faith in Jesus has nothing in common with God. There is the spirit of Antichrist that you have heard was coming. Well, here it is, sooner than we thought. My dear children, you come from God and belong to God. You have already won a big victory over those false teachers, for the spirit in you is far stronger than anything in the world. These people belong to Christ's denying world. They talk the world's language, and the world eats it up. But we come from God and belong to God. Anyone who knows God understands us and listens. The person who has nothing to do with God will, of course, not listen to us. This is another test for telling the spirit of truth from the spirit of deception. And here ends our readings for the day.